thing to remember that the last 10 matches played here at the Prima Dasa have all been won by the team batting first as we head towards the toss. I've got the two captains here with me and the match referee it's Chris Broad, the former England batsman. The toss goes up, heads is a call from Daniel Vittori. It is a tail, so Sri Lanka have won the toss. Kumar, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, we're going to have a bat. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've won the toss, but winning the toss doesn't mean you win the game. We've got to come out here and do our job properly. What about your team? Any changes from the 2020 match? Um, yeah, we've got a few changes. We've got uh, Tilan Tushara coming back in. Uh, we've got Tilna Kandambi coming back into the squad. Uh, Tilan Samravira coming into the middle order uh, to strengthen that. So uh, we've got a good balance side. Yeah, it's been a source of worry for you, the batting inconsistencies. Will that affect the way the guys, the real power players at the top perform? Uh, not really. I think everyone's got to play their game and trust each other to do their job. If you're a batsman and you've got a specific job to do, you walk out there and do it. Uh, that's the bottom line. No one else is going to do it for you. You'll find it judged on your performance and your selectively decide for that uh, particular performance. So the responsibility is yours. So in saying that, you haven't had to say anything to Saka Jasuria this morning? Uh, no, nothing at all. Just go out there and play his game. They all understand. He's played 18 years of cricket. I've played 10. He knows a lot more about the game than I do. So he'll definitely come out on top. Good luck today. Thank you. Daniel, please come this way. You know the stats about uh, batting second here. How do you overcome that history? Oh, I suppose you have to bowl well first up. I think that's, that's the key to overcoming, and I think we understand that it's a pretty flat deck and it's going to be a, a relatively high-scoring game, but if we can limit some of that damage early on with taking wickets, uh, particularly around Dulshan and Jasaria, that'll go away, a long way to winning the game. Any key changes from the 2020 competition? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Cole Mills has been ruled out with uh, a bit of a sickness, so Daryl Tuffy comes in and uh, Grant Elliott comes in for Neil Brown. Who's the other spinner that's going to be partnering you, if any? Uh, Nathan McCallum's on the side. He's, he's a bit more of an all-rounder, but he bowled really well in the second 2020 game and, and bowled well in our warm-up one-day game. So he comes in for his debut and we have high hopes for him. And uh, just looking forward to the Champion Trophy. Champions Trophy not too far away. You've taken great confidence from that 2020 company, but you lost against the A-team. Yeah, it was, it's disappointing. I think you, you put so much work into getting yourself back on track with those two 2020 wins, and, and we didn't put out a full-strength side, but still you want to you want to turn up and continue to win. So hopefully we can rectify that today. Finally, that batting power play that has come into effect, any special plans to come back that and to utilise it yourself? Uh, well, I think the big thing is that all bowlers have to be prepared to bowl it, and I think you have specialists because you never know what's going to happen on the day. And, and we've got plans in terms of, of going to death or, or attacking people, but I think from what I've seen so far, the teams that take wickets in those power plays can really reduce uh, a team's ability to score. So that's what we're trying to do. Go well today. Thanks, Andy. Cheers. Right, just a reminder of what has happened here at the Toss. Sri Lanka have won the toss. They'll be batting first. Second time this occasion brings Dilshan forth. This time, third time lucky for Tuffy. What a comeback to international cricket for the big man. Catching practice. Catching practice by Ja Wardena. Oh, that's beautifully done. That has really sped off the bat. That is high and it's gone down to third man and it's got him. There it is, I was just talking about it. Bond has picked him up, so that is quite remarkable. That's in the air and uh, it's going to be caught, surely. It's up there, staying up there, it's up there still. Yes, it's caught. Well... I think he's got to go. Matthews, good bat. Now this is a good shot. This is a very good shot. The first boundary for quite a while. Bit of a uh, top edge that time, but uh, they'll take that boundary. That's the quick one, just a little bit of turn. He's a bit of a roller as uh, Vittori. He's got that away back in the square with the spinner. Should go, does go. Over the top, using his feet. Beautiful shot. That is nicely played. That's brought the crowd alive. Flatter. Wants to walk through, does. So that brings up 50. And it's his first one international 50. Thank you, Mike. That's well played. Beautifully struck through the offside field. Well, that's down the leg side. And so... Well played. Another cover drive. And another boundary. 
That's over the top and down to the boundary for four. All right, well, there's a little indication. There wasn't much room there. That was probably on the off stump. But again, because... Oh, short fine leg. We mentioned short fine leg. This time it goes over the top. Yeah, that's clean. Fifty for Angelo Matthews. His second in fifty over cricket. Bond has dismissed another one. Goes for a big one. And he's gone through third man. It could run away. But he'll get three nevertheless. He goes back for three. And that's a hundred for Tilen Samoa His first in a one-day international cricket. And what a time to bring it up. What a smash. What a slash. That is the end of that. At that point. This is a lovely stroke. What a gorgeous way to finish the innings. They need 217 to win from 50 overs at uh, just under 4.4. Not impossible, but not easy in these conditions. Give it me! And this time he's gone. Good second has struck. Another very confident appeal, and he's given. This one will race away for four. And the first boundary. Nice and fine. It's going to be uh, a boundary. Got him. Bowled him. Metal stump. That's what Malinga likes to do. He's rattled the furniture. McCullum was getting very, very agitated, looking to take him on. And there's only one winner. Short ball first up. Very well directed from uh, Lazarus Malinga. It's gone away. Edged and gone. It has carried. Malinga struck again. They turn around. Jake Orham is going absolutely nowhere. In my mind, it carried. Now he's starting to walk away. No, he's not. He's sticking around. He wants the umpires to have a little chat over this. I have no doubt whatsoever that carried. Sangakara went up straight away, as did the switch board alongside. The umpires are going to have a chat and they'll probably send it upstairs. If the match referee might have a little bit of a, uh, a look at that and uh, maybe have a bit of a chat. So up goes the finger eventually. Got him, bowled him, outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Sensational stuff from Malinga. Two wickets and two balls, three wickets in the over. Look at those celebrations. Oh, that's played rather fine. That's going to run away for four. Oh, that's gone haywire. That's really gone all right. That's got to be out, yeah, too easy. Level low. Outside edge and he's off the mark. Fortuitously indeed, and this just about goes all the way. In fact, it has. Bowling down the track and he's been deceived. Down the track, nice and straight, and it has gone for six, I think. Just over the rope by the looks of things. Yes, there's confirmation, a bit of exercise. Oh, that's not too far away, and I think that might be up. Yep, not quick enough to get back. He walked straight away, has gone upstairs, but looks like the batsman's walked, which is quite unique with the stumping. Has gone uh, sent upstairs, and I think we can safely chalk up the ninth wicket. The difficult thing here is that uh, he can't take the ball in front of the stumps, so he doesn't. He does well, he just waits for it to go back, and then just uh, whips off the bail. Back down in front of the stumps, put it in front of the stumps. Got him! Ball! Oh, metal stop! Didn't listen to me! Malinga's got another one, just one ball, that's all he needed, he's got four now, that is brilliant stuff. He was uh, the top scorer, 76 balls for his 41, he stuck around, did a job, but had no partners. Butler, second highest with uh, 25, and then it goes down to uh, extras actually.
And then right at the top, Brendan McCullum, 14 off 52. So it was a tough scoring match, this one. All out in just over 36 overs, 119 they made. And Sri Lankan bowlers will be absolutely delighted with this performance. Just hone in there on Tashara. Six overs, one maiden, one for five, magnificent. And Malinga, 6.1 overs, four for 28. And topped and tailed there. Two for Kula Sekra and two also for son of Joe Saria. So looking back at the match summary of match one in this compact cup, Sri Lanka winning the toss. Big bonus, 216 for seven. And in the end, they won by 97 runs.